With around a quarter of all British homes sitting above old coal fields, could those disused shafts and seams provide a valuable clean energy source for the future? The northeast of England is famous for its industrial past, livelihoods built on powering the country using coal. But having been closed for decades, mines similar to this one in Beamish could have a role in powering the future. The potential is phenomenal. We've got 23,000 disused deep coal mines across Britain. And it's something the Coal Authority is very excited about. This infrastructure that we're sat in now was created by the miners centuries ago but since it's no longer used, it's filled up with water that's heated by naturally occurring geothermal processes. And we can use the heat in that water as an energy supply for the future. There are over six million homes above abandoned coal mines. And while they can't say exactly how many could benefit, it's something local authorities across the country are looking at as an option. Further along the seam in Gateshead, they've already put warm mine water to good use. By drilling down 150 metres, they've tapped into the tepid mine water. It's then pumped back above ground, where heat pumps, partly powered by an on-site solar farm, raise the temperature further. The water in these pipes has been heated by the mine water, and it goes out from here through a large, in effect, local plumbing system to then heat homes and businesses. 14% of households in the old mining town live in poverty. By using the warm mine water in the district heating system, it keeps bills 5% below the price of gas. This is the um, Gateshead mine water heat pump. The council here believes they're now at the forefront of a green revolution, one that can make a real difference to people's lives. It's great for the environment, but also it's very economical as well. It's good for the customer. How does it feel? It's almost a kind of renaissance here, from what was a, a dirty energy source to a cleaner one. Well, I actually, personally, I feel great because my father was a miner. He actually did some of these uh, mine workings in the past. And, uh, of course, I think he realised uh, that um, it was a dirty, uh, dangerous uh, occupation and actually... Because of that work which is done, which is dirty, that carbon-based economy is now benefiting us in a green-based economy. Tenants in these blocks of social housing are the first in the UK to benefit from this lower carbon form of district heating, meaning they can be weaned off gas without cost to them or any disturbance to their homes. Closer to the River Tyne itself is the Glasshouse International Centre for Music, a charity and home to the Royal Northern Symphonia. For them, the savings they made using the mine water has been a lifeline. Uh, we feel really lucky to be part of the District Energy Network. Uh, there's two reasons. There's cost savings for us. It can be up to 5% cheaper than if we were getting it from the grid. Uh, and there's also carbon emission savings. We've got a 2030 net zero target. And thanks to the solar power and the mine water heat pump, that really helps us um, achieve our target. Back at Beamy, Charlotte Adams thinks the time has come for her favourite idea. I do feel it's a vast resource. I've believed in it for a long time. A lot of my early work was looking at water in mines and treating them, and through that I noticed how warm they are. So it's something I've been wanting to do for ages. So you were a bit of a lost profit, and now you're being listened to at last? I am, because the drivers have changed now. Back then, 20 years ago, when I started looking at this, we, were, um, we had our own supplies of cheap gas, uh, now we're a net importer, now we've got a lot of climate targets as well that we want to meet, so the game's changed considerably over the last few years. Gateshead may be the first, but there's a good chance they won't be the last to feel the heat from coal mines once again.